ครับต้องยืนครับครับสวัสดีครับทุกท่านนะครับก็เป็นเลคเชอร์ซีรีส์สุดท้ายของเทอมนี้นะครับในซีรีส์ของ Living Space นะครับกับซีรีส์ของสถาปนิกญี่ปุ่นทั้ง3ท่านนะครับโดยนี้ก็เป็นสถาปนิกเกียวโตท่านสุดท้ายที่ที่จะมานำเสนอผลงานในบริษัทของเขานะครับที่เกิดขึ้นนะครับ so uh, good afternoon everybody so today is the last lecture series of this semester for 2017 and in the theme of living space uh, the Japanese architects and uh, now is the third time come to give a lecture to us and for today is the uh, architects from uh, Kyoto city names Andrea Ash yes Mr. Asashi Yada Sang uh, so uh, I will tell about his in a little bit information that uh, he graduated in uh, Department of Environmental Planning Faculty of Engineering Kobe University in uh, 1992 and 1992 to 1997 he works in Mu Architects Office and in 1998 he attracted the office Andrea Ash and so he attracted the office for a long time for from 1998 and now he is the past time lecturer in many university in 2007 uh, lecturer in Kansai University in 2010 lecturer in Osaka City University and 2015 to be the part-time lecturer in Kyoto Institute of Technology. So he got many awards in Japan, uh, such as uh, 2006, uh, the Japan Institute of Architect or JIA Kinki Branch Architect Freshman Prize. And 2008, the Japan Institute of Architecture JA also new Kammer Award. And for last year, 2016, from Osaka Prefecture Architects Association, uh, Osaka Prefecture Governor Awards, and many awards that you can see on his website. So maybe it's time for beginning. So Please give a big hand for Mr. Asashi Yada. Thank you so much. So, uh, I'm Asashi Yada, uh, architect from Japan. Yes, he introduced now. Yes, yeah, thank you. So. As the first <coughs> uh, I'd like to give thanks to all those concerned who gave me a lecture opportunity at Chiang Mai University and who helped hold this lecture. So uh Kapun Krap. Uh, so he he <laughs> he introduced about me so I think uh, a little bit uh, look young, but uh, already I'm 49. Maybe uh, it's the uh, same of your father or mother, same age, no? This year I will be 50. So uh, I was born in Kyoto and grew up in Kyoto. So Kyoto is uh, a little bit western part in Japan. So Kyoto, was, Kyoto is an old city. Once in the capital, the emperor lived. Many people live in Kyoto and uh, from a long time ago. So uh, it is a rich nature land surrounded by mountains and suicide. 
but in summertime, temperature and humidity is very high, like uh, Chiang Mai. So, but uh, it is very cold in winter time. So, uh, I think you don't have uh, uh, snow, but in, in Kyoto we have much snow. So cold, so you know. So, uh, for thousand years, uh, Kyoto as capital, people c continue to increase, and the buildings are densely built. So it is a very crowded city. The house and shops and uh, mixed and built. So in such environment, various ingenuity has been applied. So one is to keep sense of uh, distance with people. The other is to make the microclimate in the building comfortable in the limited space. So, uh, this is map of Kyoto. You can see how is our city so very crowded. So, a uh, house built like this, very crowded, no? Uh, there are no trees and uh, no space, just buildings uh, stand in front of the street. So, uh, we needed uh, to make a private space in this kind of uh, environment. So for, for first method, there is a method uh, manipulating the line of uh, line of sight with a lattice or a screen. And in addition, we create a space by uh, hierarchical building and the space changing levels of privacy from the front to back. So. Uh, so, yeah, this is a lot. Here is a very public space. So, uh, you can see the house is like this. It's in front of the tree. So, people, it's easy. People uh, see inside, but we needed a private uh, privacy. So, we can make a screen up here. So we cut the eye, eye, eye line, and also we make uh, inside house, we make a coat, and uh, make a shadow, so it's why, so make a window inside, like that. So such method is a common method in Asia, I think. However, with the development development of technology and materials. In recent years, almost building equips air condition, like here. So this room also air conditioning by machine. You know? So I think uh, such a technique is very superior. But with this method uh, using machine is uh, not good because building are uh, isolated, isolated and the connection between people and people is disappeared. So I decided to review the traditional method once again. So since I was a university student, uh, I frequently traveled abroad in many places in Asia, in Africa, North America to South America, so, and Europe also. The things I found, there is a house and tower uh, are built according to their living culture and environment. Here is in Cambodia, floating house in the lake. In summertime, it's changing like this. So, 
they built up the houses like this. They floating up the house, so because uh, it, in rainy season, uh, water coming up. So, and uh, when you see the uh, white of street, it's it's not a river; it's street for boat. So, they decided the white by uh, long uh, length of boat. This wide is they can carve by boat. So it's not for human, no? They use the boat every time. How about in Vietnam? So their building is so very similar with the uh, houses of Kyoto. It's, uh, I think it, its design is from China. Inside is like this. Uh, next of living, they have a coat. So inside the house, they they make a coat because I I explained already uh, it is to get uh, fresh air and uh, cooler. So how about in Africa? Here is a valley of Muzar. So you know. Uh, uh, in many countries have uh, uh, history against the enemy. So they make their town uh, like a castle. Uh, at the edge of village, they make a house like a, a wall against the enemy. So, but inside they make a street like this. So uh, both sides is a house. And uh, so in, in Africa, temperature is very high and dry. So they need to uh, make a shadow, shadow space because it feels very cool. So it's idea to live in very hot space. How about in another city? So it's in Morocco. Uh, they painting a uh, very uh, cool color, they use white and blue. So I think humor is very interesting because uh, uh, temperature is high, but uh, feeling when we see the cool color, we can feel very cool. So uh, they use this color is uh, not for uh, fashion, it's from uh, reason of uh, their religion, but also it's uh, helped uh, feeling. So how about in Europe? Uh, it's in Spain. Uh, they built like this, very big and uh, mm, colonized style. So they make a window to the street, uh, against the street. So, but it's not only to get the window. So they want, they like to make contact with the other through the window. So, so I, I think uh, now in Japan we have a problem, uh, New generation use uh, many uh, machine and uh, new technology. So, but uh, I think uh, in any environment, I think it is important to feel nature and recognize what is live in nature. So, and in the design of house, I think about. Uh, Relationship is very important between room and room in the building and between the room and the outside. So, uh, I thought, uh, uh, in, in my method, uh, putting space for buffer zone between the room and the room were between the room and the outside. 
Yeah. Now, I explain about my method to planning uh, housing. So I call the environment shell system. So uh, it's it's my technique. At the first, I thought about uh, predicting from the. Uh, environment uh, protect the uh, private space. So uh, I make at the first uh, outer shell like this. And uh, I built inner shell inside this. So, I open the window on the ceiling and the wall and we, I can get the light from here, from here like this and about the window. So go through the wind uh, between outer shell and inner shell like this. So about heat. So cool, cool air coming up from the ground, so hot air go out from the top. So water coming from here and go through the uh, ground like this. So, yeah, it's about nature. Uh, so. Uh, I can choose how I get the light and how I get the wind and uh, how I throw out the hot air and how I get the rain inside. So about, about social problems, uh, I use this system like this about eye line from the other building, so people can see inside, but uh, I put the outer shell and there is inner shell. So in inner shell, uh, I put a living space or a bed space. So between the here, there is a buffer zone. So I put a tree or some uh, filter, so I can cut the eye line from the outside about noise. So when we build a house, there is a street and so uh, noise of a car or sound from the another building, so it's coming. But I can cut from by here about territory of people. So deep inside, it's very, very private space. And here, in public, like a in public space, and here is public space. So it may, uh, it's easy to live because, uh, you know, if you don't have an outer shell, so when you live here, it's difficult to uh, changing clothes and take a bath or, so you, when you relax inside the house, it's uh, difficult to open the, window because uh, everybody can see inside. But uh, I, I make this like this. It, it cuts many things from the outside. So use uh, this method. Uh, I make uh, my, my project house. So I explain number one. Uh, Environment share house, the one. So building site is located in Nara. It's very close in Kyoto. They, uh, it's uh, older than Kyoto, an uh, ancient capital of Japan. So the surrounding area is a paddy field. So now I think you can see 
it's not a house, it's uh, just a rice field or some uh, space for agriculture. So this is a river and river, so surrounded by uh, mountain, this kind of space, yes. So it means the land has a high humidity and many typhoon come here. So typhoon goes through this way like this. So Pendin Sensei said uh, you don't have a typhoon in Thailand. But uh, you know, you can watch the news. We have a very uh, strong typhoon. Sometimes uh, typhoon break, break out the house. So in Japan, houses, uh, many times houses are built by wood. So every year, uh, uh, many houses and the town broken out. So I have to consider when I planning a house about this. So the site is here. Here is the field, so this is a farmer house and edge of a village. My client wants to make a house up here. So the owner is a three-member uh, three family, two couples and one children, one child. Yeah. The work is a civil worker and care worker and the primary school students belonging to baseball club. So when I planned this house, uh, the child was so young. So there are many farmers in Paradin, but in front of this uh, site, here, there is a factory. Uh, it's uh, operating 24 hours a day. It means continue every time through the night, make noise. It's terrible for them, you know, because every time they are uh, sounding coming, it's, it's uh, hard to sleep. And also, uh, many workers are uh, walking uh, around here. So, in this way, the surrounding environment is very, is um, never good, although there is a nature alarm. So, first of all, I thought of being strong against natural disaster and blocking sound from the factory. I make big box. Uh, this is uh, made by concrete. It's outer shell. And later I built up private space. Here is a bedroom and also here is bedroom for uh, the child. So here is the uh, living room and uh, next living room. So it's in a shell. So there is a gap between, room, between the room and room. So in order to go, go back, you always, when you go to somewhere, some space, how about uh, here there is a bathroom. When you go to bathroom, you feel uh, nature because this outer shell, I, I said you, uh, there is a street to opening and some window. Every time it's open, so it means uh, wind goes through here like this. So on the roof, I make street up here and open up here also and uh, here also. So rainy coming from here, from the ceiling. So even inside house, when you uh, go through the here or go through here, 
you can feel nature. So, section is like this. So, this is family space, this is private space. So, rain is coming like this. So, it's built independently. So, separated. It means uh, I can keep a privacy. So, another section uh, between the outer shell and the inner shell, there is a semi, uh, how do you say, outer space. So, I make a garden. So, he can get the light from through the garden like this. So I show you the picture of this house. Elevation. This, this is uh, so. Here there is a street, so it's filled. But here there is a factory. So this shell up against the sound from factory. So. Another looking like this. It looks very uh, closed, but uh, I make a street here and here. So entrance is here. You can go enter, enter from here. Here is the entrance space. So this is the door of entrance. So you can come this way like this. And here is the uh, uh, space for meeting the other body. So it, it's not room, just space. So you go through this way and go inside. So I say here it's an out, outer room, but inside the house, of course. So you, you can see the space. Uh, this is the private room in a shell, and this ceiling is outer shell. There is a gap, and so there is a space. So you can see this. It's a switch, switch of a roof of outer shell. So rain coming down from here. So inside the house, but. The, so uh, this family, every time feel uh, uh, how is the weather, today is shining or today is rainy or cloudy, so inside they can feel. So I said to you, in Japan, winter time is very cold, so cold, and I put the stove like this. A, a little bit feel hot, not enough, of course. Yeah, another view from outer space. Uh, this, this is outside, so from this outer space, look outside, so, so, uh, family use here second living. Because, uh, many women want to uh, meet uh, friends inside, uh, this family, family room. But the uh, husband or their child uh, want, uh, want to gather with friends at here because never mind about uh, dirty or something, so they can uh, feel freely at here. So when uh, people size is like this. So from outside, you can see like this. When open the window, it looks like this. So here. So when close the window, window you can look like this. So I said to you, uh, here, typhoon come here, and uh, that's uh, 
prison, they close the door like this, but not so dark inside because, you know, inside uh, we can get light from the top. So like this. And uh, night time also they cross here against rover. Yeah. In night time like this, you can see the street here, no grass. It's open. Uh, there is a gap also. So this is family room uh, made by wood. This is private room. Uh, structure is uh, steel and I covered by uh, metal. So night time like this. So from family room, you can see second, uh, second living room like this. So uh, I put uh, flooring and use the paper. Very calm space, so very different. So second living is very uh, rough, but uh, main living room is very um, calm space. Like this, when I close the door, so you can see the outside through the inner garden. So here is inside house. Uh, I put uh, some grass and trees so I can get the window to here and to open this door so it coming inside. When open, so when I open this sliding door, there is another space. So for, this is a family space, but uh, when they had the guest, uh, guests can use this space for themselves. Normally they open this like this. So here is the guest room, and this room has a private garden next uh, next the room. So there is a street also. Wind comes from here and go to this window. And uh, on the ceiling, there is an uh, opening. So it, it gets the lighting and the raining from here. So this is uh, living room and the uh, family room. So over there, here, it is the kitchen. So in this house, uh, there are many routes to go out the outside. So, so you you can imagine if you stand here, you make a food and you you suffer from here to to your guest, or you can go out, go through this this door, go out, and also. Uh, there is a door and go through this way and this way. So guests also can go out from like this. So not go through this living room. So I go back to uh, outer living here. So there is a deck. Even in time, it's like, become like this. So, uh, neighborhood, they are farmer, and uh, many times they don't use the entrance. So they come from backside, and they sit uh, on the deck and uh, take a rest and go out, go out. And sometimes they bring a vegetable or something and put on here and go go out. So uh, the owner family. They use here also for drying uh, clothes after washing. So in rainy day, uh, they can put the uh, clothes up here. So 
So here is the private room. So private room has a window like this, but uh, uh, you cannot see outside directly. So there is a light coat. It can get the light from from the top. So uh, my my client said uh, one time in in winter time they get up uh, in the morning the snow coming uh, coming down from here and here is much snow and so it was so amazing sight. So sometimes raining coming like this and so um, in normal Japanese house uh, I think many body uh, shut down the curtain of the window and it is difficult to how it is outside. But in this house, so uh, client can feel how it is and very protected uh, privacy. Of course, here is uh, like outside, there is a very fresh air. So here is the bathroom. So it's 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 a little bit uh, big for Japanese. So this is inside bathroom, and over there there is the outside bathroom. Two bathroom they have. So uh, my client is uh, very friendly and. Uh, Many, many friends come to this house and they take a bath together. Of course, with family and sometimes with friends, they take a bath. So, at here. How about this? In summertime, they use the here, not for bath, just uh, uh, for cooling down the body. So in, in night time, you can, you can see like this. So now you can find how inner shell built, built up inside. This is inner shell. This and this. Are. So you can see this is also inner shell, but uh, it's difficult to, to see the gap. Yes. It's easy here. There is a gap. So another facade is like this. So there is a uh, space, no glass, it's open. So second, so I make uh, another house. Uh, I use the same system, but uh, environment shell house zero one is uh, located in uh, countryside surrounded the uh, 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 light field, but the uh, second house is uh, uh, inside a very big city, Osaka Prefecture. It's close to Kyoto. Here. So, uh, very big city. The center of the city, the site is here. So everything, uh, many thing is the uh, houses, and uh, this is uh, how do you say mansion? Apartment? Yeah, this is apart apartment have uh, ten floors, and here is the uh, school, and next there is uh, three floors building and the houses and. Uh, in the back, there is a gallery. So you can, you can see the street here like this, and here in front of this site, there is a very long street. It means somebody, uh, driving the car. Uh, driver is, a driver seeing this so long time, there is, uh, how is it? <laughs> uh, 
they don't have a privacy. So, also, uh, backside there is garage. It's a very public space. They can see inside from here. So, and from this building, so from, from the top, uh, they can see inside. It's easy. So it was terrible for them. And so, uh, if I planned, uh, normal, uh, method, I, I will, uh, make a courtyard inside. But it's difficult in this situation because from, from the top from here, you can see inside. So, I decided to use the same method. At the first, I make outer shell by concrete like this. And I build inner shell by wood. Two, two buildings inside. So one is for private room. This is for parents. This is for their child. Here is a family space, here is dining and kitchen, here is a living room. So between this building, there is outer room also. So I make garden also here, and here, at the second floor, I make a garden. I named the sky garden. So from, yeah, next building is like this, and next, neighborhood, residence like this, so I cut the la uh, line of sight, ice, and uh, so from here, like this, I cut the line, so I cut the town, and so planning is like this. So the owner uh, is, uh, have an office, Besides this house, his office. So, here is house. So you, now also you can, you can see here and here, there is a space. It becomes buffer zone. So here is the entrance. You enter here, go, go past this way and go here, so here there is outer room, so it's like a second living room. So you pass here and go up here and go up, here there is a family room, it's a living room. So next of living room, I make a garden here also, it's second floor. So when you uh, take this way, Go up this stairs and go to private room, bedroom, master bedroom here, and uh, garden for light. So I think you here is the sky garden like that. So inside the house, I make uh, many jobs like this. So it's very uh, useful. So to, to keep privacy and also to get the fresh air and rain also and light, what you want, you can do it. So I show you the picture. In front of house is like this. Not to look like house, just, uh, uh, how do you say, like a strap, uh, like a monument, not, not, people say it's not like house. Yeah, here is the office. So I make a space like this. So many, uh, many students, uh, from here go through and meet here and go out. Yeah, they use for like a public space here. So now you, you can, you can find, you can, you cannot see inside. It's open. No grass, no curtain. And 
inside it's open, but uh, it's difficult to see inside. Like this, there is a building. So I make a very small hole here also, it to get the air. So I show you inside. Here is outer room. So on the ceiling, there is a strip. So I put the, I put the glass up here. So uh, when I designed uh, this, at the first I didn't put the glass. I get, uh, I wanted to get the lane from here, but. Uh, when I built up this, my client said, please, please put grass up here because uh, they, they didn't want so much rain inside. So I put the grass here. So now they can feel the air, but no, no rain here. Very dry space. So, and uh, inside the house, uh, light and the shadow make uh, like this, and uh, so it's moving uh, through the day. So when you see this, uh, you can you can you can find what time is this. So another way. So from outer room, here is the private room for child. So here is a private room for parents. So here is a side garden. So from here street of the uh, saving. So I show you about this here. So here is a path to the private room. So child have to go past this way and coming go in go to inside from here. So here is the outer room. So uh, there is a grass wall. It's not connecting. It's uh, separated by grass. Just you can see. So if the child wants to uh, uh, make a privacy much more. He will put the post up here. So here. So it, so now it's very open, but uh, it's easy to make uh, privacy to shut down the uh, line of eyes. So from the uh, private room, you can see here. It's the outer room. So in outer room there is a garden. So above here I make a street. It gets a lane and light from here. It's coming directly here. So from outer room here is the family space. It's a dining space and kitchen and upper here. Here is a living room. So here is, you know, here is uh, in a garden. So I make it here also. It's no grass and the wind comes inside from here. So when you open the window, so they can see it, uh, like outside here. Here also it's like inside but uh, still outside. So here is like this. So you can find this, this, uh, under the sphere there is also garden like that. So here is the master bedroom. So this, uh, my client gets, uh, this kind of situation in the morning. So many people close the window, uh, to shut out the light, but uh, I think they don't want to shut out the light. They don't want to shut out the light, no. Just they want to, uh, they don't want 
to be seen from the outside, and they call the curtain. So, in this house, they never close the curtain because uh, you cannot see inside. So every time opened and the light coming like this and feel very pretty and like outside. So another view. Here is bed, here is the garden, so over there, there is a family space. So this space becomes buffer zone between family room and bedroom. So when I opened here, people thinking it connects very directly, but I separated by Grass or something like this. So here is the space, uh, sky garden. So sunlight coming like this. So, okay. Yeah, here is the dining and kitchen. There is a path and also it is uh, grass nature. You go through this way and go up this way. So go to the living room. It's a, here is the living room. Next to the living room, there is a garden also. You can see the uh, private room like this. So another view. So there is a garden. Now much grass, so, so much nature now. And so, of this street, I don't put the grass, so they, uh, it come, raining coming from here. So in this house, there are so many gardens. You can throw up here and here, and the garden, and the outer, outer room, there is a room, there is a garden so much. Very bari various gardens there is. So, they are owner and uh, their child. So now it's like this. Many grasses and the bamboo and the grass is also like this. And so, inside the house, uh, they are still very natured. Yeah, it's like, uh, not, nothing inside the house. So when friends come to, to the house, become like this, sitting uh, up here and sitting under here, and uh, they are making conversation like this. So it's like a garden, no? So from the bathroom, you can see also the garden. It's easy open to, to open the window because uh, uh, outside the bathroom is not not the public space. It's inside the house, so you can get the fresh air to, to get inside. So night time looks like this. So here is the bathroom. Here is the dining room. So this way there is the private room. So here is private room, child room here. So for house, uh, I use uh, that method, environmental shelf system. And uh, next uh, project is for houses, apartment. It's small apartment. And for this, I didn't make outer shell, but uh, I make a buffer zone because I think uh, uh, make buffer zone is very important for uh, to live in, in crowded space. So, name Tom Ishigaki. 
So the site is the south of Japan, here in Kyushu Prefecture. So it's in front of the sea. So here is very famous of hot spring. So the site is like this. So surrounding is the houses. In very local space. So, uh, this apartment have uh, four house, houses, uh, two houses in one floor. In second, there is two houses also. So, just four houses in this apartment. So, I put the common space between the houses. And also, in one house, I put the terrace, it's, uh, it's balcony, here and here, both sides, I put. In second floor also, I put the balcony like this. So, this plan is a little bit special because uh, there is a common space and uh, I put the window from private house to common space. I make window here and here. About this house, there is a window here and here. In the second, uh, second house, they have a deck here, like a balcony. Here. So, uh, it's in, in, inside, the, inside this building, so, in common space, they have a deck like this. So, the, um, why I make uh, that kind of a space is the uh, same thinking like this. So, I wanted to uh, make a relationship with uh, uh, people from the deck to the hall, they can make communication like this with uh, people of outside, they can make contact like this, so it's neighborhood, we have uh, from up here, so I, I make here vegetable garden, so people can make uh, contact with them also here like this. So and the go wind goes through this one space like this, and I make a uh, roof by glass, so they can get the sunlight through the top, like this. Another section like this. So many times uh, you can imagine how, how is the apartment. They make a room, just a very closed room. They never make a contact with the neighborhood. So, but uh, in this apartment there is a common space, they can make contact through the common space, like this and like this. Yeah, it's why I put uh, this space I made. So elevation of outside is like this. There are many houses and it's uh, in front of trees. Entrance is like this. So here is the entrance, and the go, in, go inside from here. This door is to the uh, private house. So go up here, you can go, go to the common space, like that. So 
I bring up a little bit uh, higher common space because I, I wanted to close a little bit from the second floor. So daytime looks like this, the sunlight coming down like this and make shadow like this. So I put uh, this uh, kitchen for common space. So people, when we people want to make a tea or something uh, very, uh, how do you say, snack or something, so they can cook a little bit here. So next to uh, the common living, I put the terrace here, it's outside, so people can see the fresh air, and so there is a vegetable garden, so they can go through here, from here to, to the vegetable garden, and go outside, so now you can see that this deck, it's private deck, so we can people can spend the time up here. So reading books and drinking beer and yeah. Somebody come together here, make contact here. So there is a window for privacy like this. Another view like this. So evening time like this. So it's very close. So it's easy to make contact with the other people. So this space is uh, very open for neighborhood. So um, many people coming from outside and uh, make meeting up here and uh, make communication with uh, these people. So here is the uh, entrance for privacy house. Here. So inside house is like this. So we have uh, entrance to put away our shoes up here. So go through here. So there is a bed. It's outside. So inside the house, uh, this is a bedroom. I make a very big window like this. So uh, you can you can see outside through this window, but uh, I put. Uh, Tree here. Now it's growing up like this, much much uh, bigger becoming. So uh, it cuts the li uh, line of uh, eye. So it's a little bit easier to make privacy. So people put the curtain up here. But uh, next to uh, this room, I I put the balcony here. So when you want to get the uh, window, you open sh this window and so get the wind from here. So this is for the light. So this space for get the uh, window. So here is the living space and uh, dining space. It, it's small because uh, Japanese house is very small now. So. This balcony is backside balcony. Uh, next to balcony, I put the tree like this. Another view like this. So I put the paper drawer uh, in front of the window. So when you open this, you can make contact with uh, inside a uh, common is common space from here. So 
from the second cross view. So it crosses uh, here and it can make it here through this window. So you can see the outside through the, this window. So my, in this apartment, also inside, uh, feel like uh, outside. Yeah. Another. <coughs> In evening time like this. So here is common living and grass and vegetable garden and trees there is like this. So for me, uh, at the first I explain about the how is the Japanese city. So we don't have uh, enough nature. Not, not so much trees and not so much river, not so much nature. So I, I envy you because in Chiang Mai you have many nature, but in Japan, in the city side, we don't have enough nature. So uh, I tried uh, how we, we can we can feel the nature and we can get. Uh, uh, light and wind and the green and so it's why I try the, uh, this kind of song I do. Very open, not closed. Now, I think, uh, m many people close the window, make a very small window and uh, even make a, a very big window, they shut the curtain or uh, put the something door and uh, so it means they cannot make contact with the other people. So it, I think it's terrible for uh, community. So our society needs communication with the other. So I and it's why I try to make house like that's open, but also, of course, I know privacy is very important for the people. So uh, I I use some technique and uh, I I protect the uh, uh, privacy. So, but uh, I I love this kind of life very warm and so very uh, very comfortable light a little bit uh, orange light is uh, it's nice back side looks like this so at the last uh, I show you another type of a house so I, I make uh, this house in Kyoto city. So I said you very crowded city. So the site uh, you don't. So here is the city surrounding a mountain. So like this. So here is the palace of emperor. Now he don't live here. He is in Tokyo, it's a sad story for us. So, here is the site of a uh, house in Senbon. So now you can see how is our city. Too much houses, uh, a little bit uh, green. So there is a green also, but uh, a little bit. So, between the house, there is no space. And here you can see a little bit uh, big space, but it's how about here is garage, it's temple, temple, temple has a, like this, a little bit space. But the house don't have a space enough. So this is part of uh, my project, very crowded. 
uh, not same size, but uh, it's a bit like this, no space. So in in this kind of environment, uh, uh, I thought I need to uh, protect the privacy, but uh, if I close the house, it means I shut out the communication with the neighborhood. So, and I, I thought I need another way to make a house. At the first, at the side, I put the floor like this and make, make space for people and put the wall by glass like this. So it divides the space, public space and private space. And I open the floor, I, I can, so, I get the light from here like this. For first floor, I make this, this way. So for second floor, I put the roof at here. So already there is enough distance with the public and the private space. So just I make a screen at here. And I put the wall like this, but not not closed. It's open. So and I put the wall, glass wall. I I divide the space, and I open the here to get the light and to get the rainy like this. So this way I I make this house. So now you can. You can find so uh, people can see uh, inside house through this wall because there is a glass, so it's easy to, to see inside here. But in second floor, it's impossible to, to see inside. So I make a two type space uh, between first floor and second floor. It's very different way. I show you plan. So now you you can see this wall is by glass. Here there is a, a bathroom. Also, I put the glass wall here. That is the path, and inside house I make courtyard. Also, I, I put the glass wall here. Here also glass wall. And here is a bedroom, master bedroom. Also I put glass. Just, I divide it by glass wall. So it's easy to, to see inside here. But later, how it is. So second floor, so I make just one room, not I divided, it's one room, but uh, I put the wall and opening so it makes a space. Section is like this, so it's easy to see outside from the second floor. So it's easy to see from the public space inside at the first floor like this. So we get uh, rainy and sunlight from here. So this is the elevation of this house. You know, very narrow. Yeah, it's so small space. So now you can see the end of this uh, space. It goes through the uh, path and the inner garden and through bedroom and end of uh, this uh, site. 
this wall is not the fit into this house, the other half wall here. So from the outside you can you cannot see inside a second floor like this. It's like this. So daytime sunlight coming like this. And the grass mirrors uh, outside like this. It means so when, when, even when, when uh, you are inside, uh, you can see outside like this. It, so it's a very amazing feeling. Go through this. So here is bathroom, but uh, it's, it's difficult to see inside. Smoke, grass are used. So now you can see the bed here. So here, the wall is grass, and so in daytime and the nighttime it's changing how it is. So it's very beautiful. So go through the inner garden here. There is the bedroom here, and here there is the outside. So every time uh, my owner go to bedroom, uh, go through the inner garden, and here, so they can, they can feel the nature every time inside the house. It's like this. Here, there, now there is a bed up here. From the bedroom, another view. It's uh, in a garden, and now you can see that here is a bathroom. So when you uh, look up at the inner garden, you can see the car. No grass is coming laying from here. So bathroom is like this. Very open bathroom. But uh, here is the inside house. Nobody can see uh, when I use here. So only family can see here. From the outside, it's, this, uh, it's impossible to see here. So from the bathroom, every time they can see the garden and green, and so it's easy to to open the window. Yeah, like this. So go up to the second floor. Here is the living room. So in this house also I make many gardens here. Very small garden, but uh, so if, if I can get the light from here. So go through this window. There is a deck. And through here, we can see outside. From the deck, outside is like this. It's temple, Japanese temple like this. So another view from living room. From living room, you can see the here dining room through the garden. So now, I, I put the TV up here, the yeah, conditioner is here. So this house I planned by minimalist. I, I, I don't like to make so much decorated, so uh, just uh, I put the light like this, and uh, so I cover the air conditioners, not uh, uh, decorate very minimally. So this is a path to dining room. Here is dining room. So it's like a, uh, it it feels like a outside, but uh, there is a grass here. 
ที่เอาสุจริตตัดราดงบเอาฝ่ายตัวเขียนจะได้ไหมหนูตัวจะโอนไอ้จะ only two person and one dog so they don't need so much space just for for them uh, more space is enough for them and they also love the minimalism so I d e s i g n I d e s i g n this kitchen also so here is a stock but uh, not only stock I use for lighting for this room so of course there is a light but uh, I put the light inside stock like this From the kitchen, you can see the living room like this. So from the kitchen, uh, you can see the garden and the living room and through the deck. You can see the outside, uh, public space. So the line of sight goes through every every space. So but. Uh, I divided the space like this. Of course, you can see under here. So night time, it's changing the uh, feeling like this. So I I like I like this uh, photo. Lo lovely time in evening time. So sunlight uh, changing the how. Uh, living space looking. So in night time looks like this. So it it changing very differently. So in winter time become like this. It's snowing and it's snow. It's so cold. From bed from bedroom. Like this, so here is the storage. Also, in entrance there is also a storage, and I put the light inside storage, so it makes a rhythm of light. So entrance is like this. So in evening time looks like this. So uh, this owner uh, comes from Tokyo, another from another city. So it is hard to live uh, in Kyoto because uh, uh, people of Kyoto uh, don't want uh, uh, not not want. Uh, it's it's difficult to make communication with the, from the other space, but. Uh, Now they open their house, and it means uh, they are very open for other people. So anybody thinking, oh, we can make communication with them because they are very open. So what? It's why I op I I planned like this, very open. So for me, uh, house. Is very important to live. It's not for uh, protect from the disaster of nature. No, uh, living space is important to make a communication with the people, and uh, it is uh, uh, very important for privacy. But uh, so we are we are not live alone. We we are live with together, so it's why I open the house. So it's the last picture. I I, I love this <laughs> owner owner's dog. So he relaxed us uh, in this house. Thanks so much. ครับ
ครับ thank you so much ครับ Mr. a s a s h i a d a s a n thank you so much so สรุปไหมไม่ต้องสรุปเนาะก็จะเห็นว่างานของคุณบริษัทอันเทรียอาชีเนี่ยนะครับก็มีการคำนึงถึงหลายประเด็นนะครับโดยวันนี้ก็ I explain a little bit นี่เดสกาสใช่โดยโปรเจกต์ที่เขานำมาก็มี4ี่โปรเจกต์ก็มีทั้งหลายสี่ไอเดียนะครับไอ้สสามไอเดียสองไอเดียแรกก็จะเป็น environmental shell system นะครับในการ protect บ้านเข้ากับตัวบริบทไซส์ค่อนข้างสนุกสองไซส์แรกเพราะว่าไซส์แรกก็ตรงข้ามเป็น factory นะครับทีเนี้ยแล้วก็เขาจะปกป้องที่อยู่อาศัยของเขาได้อย่างไรนะครับโดยประเด็นที่สำคัญสามสิ่งที่คุณอาซาชิใช้ในการออกแบบโดยตลอดก็คือการคำนึงถึงสภาพแวดล้อมนะครับเพื่อให้มันได้แสงไลท์วินลมเรื่องฮีทและก็เรื่องวอเตอร์ที่มันเข้ามานะครับแล้วก็การสร้าง private space ให้กับตัวของพื้นที่ของลูกค้านะครับแล้วก็อีกประเด็นหนึ่งที่สำคัญคือการใช้งานภายใต้พฤติกรรมของกลุ่มลูกค้าแต่ละลูกค้าที่มีรีควายต่อทางสถาปนิกนะครับแล้วก็การลิงก์กับคอมมิวนิเคชันวิดพีเพิลนะครับในแต่ละไซต์นะครับซึ่งก็จะเห็นว่าในแต่ละโปรเจกต์ก็มีคาแรคเตอร์แล้วก็มีการตอบโจทย์ของการออกแบบในแต่ละประเด็นที่เกิดขึ้นนะครับโดยครับก็ช่วงนี้ก็เป็นช่วงสุดท้ายเป็นช่วงคำถามแล้วกัน so this will be the question times ก็เชิญผู้ร่วมฟังทุกท่านถามคำถามได้นะครับเกี่ยวกับโปรเจกต์ไหนก็ได้หรือต้องการอย่างไรวันนี้มีหลายมีทั้งจูเนียร์อาร์เคเท็กซ์แล้วก็มีนักศึกษาหลายท่านหลายปีชั้นปีนะครับ there are many junior architects and many fifth year fourth year second year comes ริวเปิดไฟให้หน่อยสิมีไหมฮะคำถามจากสักหน่อยออกจากสถาปนิกไหมฮะสถาปนิกมีคำถามน่ะยังสักคำจากพี่ปีห้าพี่ปีห้าไหมฮะพี่ปีห้าพี่ชื่นน้องปีอันนี้ปีอะไรแหละปีหนึ่งไหมเพิ่งทำบ้านไปนี่ใช่ไหมฮะเงียบปิ๊งเลยช่วยผมหน่อยออกอากาศด้วยนี่ไงสถาปนิกไหมสถาปนิกซะหน่อยพี่เพียงไหมฮะพี่เพียงเออถามภาษาไทยได้ครับ you can ask in Thai language and I will translate ให้นะครับสวัสดีครับฮัลโหลคืออยากจะถามกับไอตัวบ้านที่เป็นหลังคากระจกอะครับจะมีตัวหนึ่งที่เป็นหลังคากระจกคืออยากรู้ดีเทลว่าเขาเขาใช้ดีเทลแบบแบบยัดหรือแบบติดบนอะไรเงี้ยครับหรือว่าการเมนเทนเนนต์เวลามีคาบตะไคร่หรือว่าอะไรอย่างเงี้ยครับเขาใช่ใช่ครับที่มันเป็นช่องกระจกหลังคานะครับที่เอาแสงเข้ามาได้คือจากภาพที่เห็นมันเหมือนกับมันยัดอยู่ข้างในอะไรเงี้ยครับอยากรู้ว่าอยากอยากทราบดีเทลว่าการน้ําเข้าหรือว่าเวลาแบบที่มันต้องเป็นเน้นเวลาตะไคร่มันมาเนี่ยครับอ่าฮะ
about the lab, okay, about, about the top of the uh, room, uh, you, you are thinking uh, there, there become dirty uh, between the uh, outer shell and the inner shell. Or, or just, uh, just you want to know how I make uh, this street uh, with glass? Thank you so much, Kat, Mr. Fook. Thank you so much, Kat, for the drawing. It's <laughs> uh, technical, right? I'm going to ask you, right? I'm going to ask you, what's your name? Manny, do you want to ask some questions? Yeah, what's your name? Manny, do you want to ask some questions? In Thai, it's good. In English, it's good. อยากอยากทราบถึงกระบวนการทำงานนะครับก่อนจะได้แบบมาถึงขนาดนี้แล้วคือต้องผ่านกระบวนการคิดอะไรเริ่มต้นอะไรอันที่สองอะไรอันที่สามAbout uh, about 
about this system, so it was easy to to make this uh, method because uh, so uh, when I was young, uh, I was a boy scout and I camped in the mountain and uh, so and also I played many sports and uh, I liked the uh, outside. So you can imagine when when you make a camp, how you uh, make a space to, to sleep. You, of course, I think you, you put the tent, so the tent have a, a prior feet uh, over the tent. It, it make a double skin. So, uh, when I make a, a, this first project, already I had uh, this uh, idea because uh, I wanted to, to make my house and uh, so at the first uh, uh, my idea was just only uh, make a big uh, space and I put uh, inside a small space what do I want so but uh, through uh, make meeting with my owner. So it take, I think, six or eight months. So uh, each after meeting, so I, I changed a little bit, a little bit more. So at the first, I, I, I make a double skin and the next I, I divided the space. Here is a private, here is a family space. And at next, uh, I cut the uh, roof to make a street and I opened the big window uh, on the wall but uh, so many times my owner asked me uh, so nature disaster is uh, very uh, they, they are feared about this so uh, I thought uh, not um, Normally, it, it's difficult to open, continue. Sometimes we have to close here. So when I thought, imagine close the window, uh, nothing inside uh, nature. But it, 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 I don't, I didn't like that. that. And uh, I thought a small street or a small window is is it easy to get uh, nature. Uh, it's. Uh, degrees the strongest of the nature. So how about a strong window? If you make a very small window, uh, become degrees very uh, light, become light wi window. So in in this case, I, I think I think eight months to make to make this uh, farming yeah. get it man ครับก็คำถามคือว่าเขาใช้กระบวนการคิดอย่างไรบ้างก่อนที่จะมาเป็นสุดท้ายงานนี้ใช่ไหมครับคือโดยแรกเนี่ยคือเขาก็มีคือถ้าเห็นสไลด์แรกๆเนี่ยเขามีการท่องเที่ยวหลากหลายพื้นที่มากมายแล้วก็มีประสบการณ์ตั้งแต่เด็กของเขาในการสร้างพื้นที่อยู่อาศัยนะครับทีนี้ไอ้ตัวเนี้ยมันก็เป็นคอนเซปต์หลักของน่าจะเป็นช่วงหนึ่งของเขาว่าอยากใช้คอนเซปต์เนี้ยมาใช้ในการออกแบบทีนี้มอเจอโปรเจกต์เนี้ยมันก็เป็นโปรเจกต์ที่ตอบสนองต่อคอนเซปต์เขาเขาก็บอกไอเดียโดยแรกอะ่ะก็คือต้องการสร้างบิ๊กสเปซหอหุ้มแล้วก็เกิดสมอลสเปซข้างในที่มันเกิดขึ้นนะครับทีนี้มันก็การคุยกับลูกค้ามันก็เกิดขึ้นหลายรอบเพราะว่าอันนี้มันคือคอนเซปต์หลักของเขาแต่พอคุยกับใครแอนหรือลูกค้าเนี่ยมันก็จะเกิดคําถามเกิดการปรับเปลี่ยนพื้นที่การใช้งานตามลูกค้าที่เกิดขึ้นหน้าต่างเล็กลงไหมหน้าต่างใหญ่ขึ้นตรงนี้ฝนลงได้ไหมตรงนี้ขอแสงมากขึ้นซึ่งเขาก็บอกว่าโปรเจกต์นี้มันก็คุยกัน how how many time of this project that you talk with client uh, each two weeks uh, we we met and we make uh... each two weeks yes every two weeks yes yes ทุกทุกสองวีคทุกสองอาทิตย์ for six months yeah but uh, uh, become longer eight eight months eight months เนี่ยมันก็เขาก็คุยกันไปเรื่อยๆนะครับ
ราะฉะนั้นกว่าที่จะมาเป็นสุดท้ายเนี่ยคือเขาก็มีคอนเซปต์หลักแรกค่อยๆตอบโจทย์ไป you know after make planning uh, I I needed to change the uh, planning because uh, cost of uh, construction was so high because it was uh, no nobody make this kind of house and uh, cost was so high and uh, I negotiated with uh, uh, builder and I I, I needed uh, four or five months to to uh, to, to decide the how how much. Uh, อีกประเด็นหนึ่งก็มีเรื่องงบประมาณที่สำคัญเพราะว่าพอ the first design ใกล้ very very expensive too high แล้วก็คุยกันนะครับเพราะฉะนั้นในชีวิตจริงก็จะมีเรื่องงบประมาณเข้ามาเกี่ยวข้องด้วยนะครับแป๊บหนึ่งนะครับ one square meter this this house เท่าไหร่ให้เท่าไหร่อันนี้ก็สี่สิบล้านเยนหารสามประมาณนั้นอ่ะหารสามสิบสองล้านเยนสิบสองล้านบาทสี่สิบล้านเยนโฟร์ตี้มิลเลียนเดสเน่โฟร์ตี้มิลเลียนเซอร์ดิสวิชทูเทาสันไนอันนี้ราคาเมื่อปี2009นะครับตอนนี้ก็น่าจะเพิ่มขึ้นไปอีกก็ตอนนี้น่าจะขึ้นมา 1.5 เท่าปัจจุบันนะครับก็แพงกว่าประเทศเราอยู่แล้วนะฮะ Thank you so much for for question for question. ด้วยนะครับ Maybe last question, ไหมครับถ้าไม่มีก็สนุกนะเนี่ยน้องนักศึกษาปีหนึ่งไหมฮะลองลองเวทีหน่อย Last question. In. ไม่มีก็ไม่เป็นไรนะฮะแต่ถ้าอยากโอกาสเดียวเหมือนขายของเลย In English, หรือเปล่า In Thai, In Thai, okay. ภาษาไทยมาเลยถามมาเลยครับปีหนึ่งมะปีหนึ่งอ่ะพอหนุ่มพอหนุ่มมาอยากถามชีวิตการทำงานที่บริษัทเป็นไงบ้างครับอ so I think it's so hard so in Japan many people have a license of architect but many people is not architect we don't we don't see their architect just engineer or just drawing planning just planner designer so A few people is architect we we call, so it's not about license. 
So what kind of uh, uh, building or houses they make? So if you, uh, it's like an artist. So when Japanese thinking uh, how is the architect life or architect, uh, it's so hard. Uh, it's difficult to get chance, of course. And also, uh, we, we don't have so much chance, and also it's difficult to get money. Uh, it, it's easy to belong a big company. It's easy so much. So, so why students uh, grad after graduate university, many Japanese students uh, <laughs> go to big company, yeah. And you know, Japanese company is very strong. So, uh, but uh, some architects want to spend our life. So, I don't, we don't want to uh, be controlled with company. Our life is my choice. Yeah, it's so that hard. But uh, if you become famous, possibility, you can get mm, big money. ครับก็เข้าใจมั้ยทีนี้เค้าเค้าบอกแต่ถ้าบิลเดอร์หรือว่าพวกดราฟท์แมนเนี่ยคือเข้าบริษัทใหญ่ไปก็จะเป็นเหมือนเป็นเลเบอร์ของแต่ละออฟฟิศนั้
ก็ขอบคุณมากครับปิดเทอมแล้วแต่ก็มากันขอบคุณมากจริงๆนะครับทีนี้ก็สําหรับเทอมนี้ก็หมดแล้วนะครับเลคเชอร์ซีรีส์ปีหน้าเทอมใหม่ก็จะพยายามหาสถาปนิกต่างประเทศมาซึ่งเตรียมไว้ละแต่เรายังไม่เปิดเผยว่าเป็นใครนะครับแต่ก็จะอยู่ในช่วงเรียนนั่นแหละน่าจะเหมาะกับพิบเดือนกันยาเป็นบ้านอุ้ยพูดไปแล้วนี่วะเอางี้อันที่สองอ่ะเป็นเหมาะสำหรับตึกสูงพี่ปีสี่ไม่มีเลยปีสามไปค่ายหมดก็จะเป็น High Rise Building ชื่อดังในเซาท์อีสเอเชียบริษัทหนึ่งนะครับก็นิวไอจูเนียร์คิดเทคก็เชิญฟังได้นะครับขอบคุณมากครับวันนี้ see you next time next semester ครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ